Welcome to Edupedia World. In this video, we will discuss about calculation of mode in special cases. Calculation process of mode is different under some special circumstances. Let us discuss these special cases. First is cumulative series. It is also called cumulative frequency distribution, which is less than or more than type. Next is mid value series in which midpoints of class intervals are given. Next, inclusive class intervals. Classes of type like 10 to 19, 20 to 29, these kind of class intervals are given. Next, open end series. Lower limit of first class and upper limit of last class are not given. And the last is unequal class intervals when class intervals are not equal. These are some of the special cases in which we will calculate mode. First, we will discuss cumulative series. Cumulative frequency series should be converted into simple frequency series. There would be either less than or more than cumulative frequency series given. After obtaining simple frequency series, we calculate mode as we calculated it in continuous series. Let us understand this with the help of a following example. In this particular illustration, we have to calculate mode in the following series by inspection method. Wages and number of workers are given. So we have to calculate mode. Let's start with the solution. First, the series would be converted into simple frequency series. For that, we will make a table of two columns. In the first column, we will write wages, which is denoted by X. And in the second column, we will write number of workers, which is denoted by F, that is frequencies. In the column of wages, we will write the class intervals, that is 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, and so on because we have provided less than series to us so we will start with zero and in the second column we will write number of workers that is frequency we will start with four and as you can see in the question that cumulative series are provided to us so what we will do we will deduct the frequency from the preceding one to get the actual frequency of that particular class interval so 0 to 5 will write 4 5 to 10, we will deduct 4 from 10, we will get 6. In 10 to 15, we will deduct 10 from 20, we will get 10. And this is how we will calculate the frequency to get the actual frequency of that particular class interval. So as you can see in the table by inspection method, we can locate that 25 is the highest frequency in a class interval of 20 to 25. So model class is 20 to 25 and the highest frequency is 25. As we know the formula of mode that is Z equals to L1 plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into I. Where Z is mode, L1 is the lowest class interval F1 is the frequency of the model class, F0 is the frequency of the class preceding the model class and F2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the model class and I is the size or magnitude of the model class. In the table we are located everything that is F0, F1, F2 and model class. We will put down the values in the formula and we will calculate it. After calculation, we will get mode that is 24.68 in this particular solution. Next, we come to calculation of mode in a mid value series. When mid values are given, the series is to be converted into an exclusive series. In other words, class intervals are to be formed. We use the same procedure as we used in continuous series to calculate mode. 
Let us understand this with the help of a following illustration. We have to calculate mode from the following data that is marks or mid values are provided to us that is 5, 15, 25, 35 and 45 and number of students are given to us. So first we need to find out class intervals. We have discussed this before also how to calculate class intervals from the mid value series. Let us revise it. First, the difference between first and second mid values is calculated. So for this particular illustration, we will deduct 5 from 15. What we will get? We will get 10. Now next, we will divide the difference by 2. So 10 will be divided by 2, we will get 5. Now 5 will be subtracted from the first mid value to get the lower limit of the class interval. So 5 minus 5 we will get 0 which will become the lower limit of the class interval and 5 will be added to the first mid value to get the upper limit of the class interval. So 5 plus 5 we will get 10. So we will get the lower limit of the class interval that is 0 and upper limit of the class interval that is 10. So this is how we will calculate class interval from the mid values. Now come to the solution. Accordingly we will calculate the class intervals that is 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and so on. And in the second column we will write number of students that is frequency is given to us that is 10, 12, 8, 7 and 6. So by inspection method you can say that 12 is the highest frequency and this highest frequency is in the model class of 10 to 20. So now we will put up the formula that is Z is equals to L1 plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 multiplied by I. We have learned this formula now. We have to just simply put the values which is given in the table. We have marked the values in the table. What is F0, what is F1 and F2 and what is model class. We have to put the values in the particular formula. We will calculate it and after calculation we will get mode. That is 13.33 marks is a mode in this particular illustration. This is how we will calculate mid value series. Next we come to calculation of mode in an inclusive series. An inclusive series should be converted into an exclusive series by adjusting the class limits. After obtaining an exclusive series, the method of calculating mode is same as used in continuous series. Let us understand this with the help of a following illustration. We have to calculate mode from the following data. In the data we have provided with daily wages that is 90 to 99, 80 to 89, 70 to 79, 60 to 69 and 50 to 59 and number of workers that are frequency. In the table you can see that it's an inclusive series. It means the series form that the observation with magnitude greater than or equal to lower limit and less than or equal to upper limit of the class interval are included in the class itself. Here the upper limit of one class interval is not equal to the lower limit of its next class interval. So in the solution first we have to convert the series into an exclusive series. For that we have to make a table of two column. In the first column we will write daily wages that is x and the second column we will write number of workers that is f. To convert it in an exclusive series, first we will arrange it in an ascending order and then we will take the difference between upper limit of a class interval and lower limit of the next class interval. The difference between the upper limit and the lower limit of the next class interval is 1. Next step, what we will do, we will just divide the difference by 2. So 1 will be divided by 2 what we will get 0 0.5 next what we will do we will just add the difference half of the difference to the upper limit 
of each class interval and half of the difference we will subtract from the lower limit of each class interval that is 0.5 will be subtracted from the upper limit of the class interval that is 50 minus 0.5 we will get 49.5 and half value will be added to the upper limit of the class interval that is 59 is the upper limit so we will add 0.5 to it we will get 59.5 this is how we will calculate the inclusive series into exclusive series as you can see in the table we have calculated it and we will write the frequencies next to it that is 15 40 50 60 and 45 by inspection method you can see that 60 is the highest frequency so 60 will be the f1 f0 will be 50 and f2 will be 45 and model class will be 79.5 to 89.5 now in the formula of mode that is l1 plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 multiplied by i we will put down the values and we will calculate it after calculation you will get 83.5 as mode for this particular illustration next we come to calculation of mode in unequal class intervals mode can be calculated if class intervals are equal therefore if unequal class intervals are given then we should first make them equal frequencies should also be adjusted it is assumed that frequencies are equally distributed let us understand this with the help of a following illustration we have to calculate mode from the following data x is given to us that is 0 to 4 4 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 30 and so on and f that is frequency is given to us as you can see in the question itself that class intervals are not equal 0 to 4 4 to 10 10 to 15 so for that we have to make class intervals equal we will make a table of two columns in the first column we will write x in the second column we will write f to make the class interval equal what we will do we will just take the model class interval that is 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 30 and 30 to 40 and the frequencies between these class intervals will be added as you can see in the question 0 to 4 and 4 to 10 so what we have taken 0 to 10 so what we will do we will add up 2 and 7 we will get 9 next we come to 10 to 15 and 15 to 20 we will do 10 to 20 and we will add up the frequency that is 5 plus 5 we will get 10 now 20 to 30 exact will write the value that is 25 and the last two class intervals are 30 to 35 and 35 to 40 we will write 30 to 40 and we will add up the frequency that is 5 plus 5 we will get 10 now by inspection method you can see that 25 is the highest frequency so it will be f1 and it is in the class interval of 20 to 30 so model class will be 20 to 30 f0 will be 10 and f2 will be 10 now we'll write the formula of mode and we'll put all these values in it and we will calculate it after calculation you will get 25 as mode this is how we'll calculate mode in unequal class intervals and next we come to calculation of mode in case of open end class intervals what is open end we have discussed this before in open end series lower limit of first class interval is not given in these series upper limit of last class interval is also not given below or above words are used instead of lower limit and upper limit respectively so in such cases mode is calculated in the usual manner there is no need to complete the class intervals let us understand this with the help of a following illustration we have to calculate mode from the following data 
marks and number of students are given to us as you can see in the question that in the lower class limit of the first class less than 10 is written and in the last class interval above 50 is written so there is no need to complete the class interval let's start with the solution we have to make a table of two column in the first column we will write marks that is denoted by x and the second column we will write number of students that is denoted by f in the column of marks we will write the class interval as it is given in the question itself and we will write down the frequencies as it is in the question so by inspection method you can say that uh, the highest frequency is 70 so 70 is the highest frequency it it is in the model class of 30 to 40 so f0 will be 40 that is preceding the uh, highest frequency and f2 will be 50 that is succeeding the highest frequency now we will write the formula of mode and we will put up these values in the formula next we will calculate the value we will get mode that is 36 for this particular illustration this is how we will calculate mode in open end class intervals thank you for watching edupedia world videos